Hey, it's me, the writer with a very successful book. Alright, let's just write a scene, yeah? How do you write a scene, though? Well, you break it down into these four categories. You can also break your scene down into three acts. Think boy meets girl, boy loses girl, boy gets girl back, cliche. Alright, let's give ourselves a prompt. The lyrics sound like fingernails on a chalkboard. Alright, let's make it work. Let's make a POV character, Max, because, I don't know, it's a good POV character name, I guess. Let's do his up uh, his uh, this uh, let's do his arc. He starts off hating the song, then he hears the song, then he loves the song. All right, let's go. Let's make our setting an aeroplane. It's a good source of conflict because unless he plans on skydiving his way out, he has no way of getting out. There's some key details, highlights, and sensory descriptions, and yeah, that's all you need to do. It's not that hard. Side note: conflict is always key to great scenes. Actions and emotions go hand in hand. See, action, trying to sleep but can't, and the emotion is frustrated because, you know, you can't sleep. The goal is similar to want, and the method is how one achieves that want, or goal, or whatever, you know what I'm saying. Again, conflict is arguably the most important part of any scene, and the conflict here is, of course, Max listening to a terrible song. Alright, let's get to the scene. The flight rumbled in the dark. Its packed aisles illuminated by the orange beams piercing through the clouds. Max shuffled on the soft leather seat, groaning at the first class snores. A muffled blast of Justin Bieber's baby screeched beside him. Max glared at the VIP, whose plump, thick head belly thumped to the beat, and whose breath fumed with tobacco with each slurred lyric. Max plugged his ears, exhaling hard and rapidly as he readjusted his pillow. The VIP turned his head, tilting it slightly as his gaze caught Max staring back. Removing an airpod, the VIP placed it on Max's palm. Max licked the taste of iron on his lips, his dark ringed eyes bouncing between the man and the music pulsing in his grip. Slowly, Max did the airpod in his ear, replacing the plugs that rolled off his sinking shoulders. He leaned back into his pillow, closing his eyes as his head bobbed gently to the music. I really hope I didn't offend any believers out there. <laughs> I also really hope you enjoyed that. Uh, it wasn't my best work, and trust me, it wasn't my worst. But the whole point of this little demonstration here is to give you an example of how to structure and write a scene, at least my method anyway. So, uh, yeah, that's all. But be sure to stay tuned because I will be announcing a little something soon. It's a new project I have been working on for a while, and it will be hopefully be up for purchase on Amazon and Kindle sometime in late September or October. Anyway, thank you again. Keep working hard. See ya. For sensory descriptions, you can see, for sensory descriptions, maybe you can see orange beams piercing through the clouds, signifying the sunset or something. For sensory descriptions, maybe you can see orange beams piercing through the clouds, representing the sunset. To smell, you can, maybe you can smell the foul, 